there, church family. My name is Sydney. Today we were in the book of Numbers, but before we dive into his scripture, I want to share with you a confession, okay? So the other day, I had this like massive to-do list, and I went, okay, first I'm going to do this, then I'm going to do that, then I'm going to do that, then I'm going to do that, and it ended up being the whole day, and I got what I needed to get done. I got, I got it done, which was a miracle. Um, and I remember I was getting ready for bed that night, and I went, oh, Lord, thank you for being with me as I got done all that I needed to today. And it was like an instant feeling I felt like in the spirit, him being like, oh, Sydney, it's so good to hear from you. And I paused, and I was like, wait, whoa, whoa, what? What did what do you mean? And the spirit revealed to me my day and revealed that that night as I was preparing for bed was the first time I had actually acknowledged his presence. And it was this heavy conviction that fell because, oh my goodness, I was acknowledging that like it was by his grace that I got what I needed to get done, but I hadn't actually acknowledged that he was doing it with me and I hadn't actually invited him into it. Like I'd started my day just consumed by all that I needed to do. And as I went out, I didn't go out prepared with him. And it was this deep conviction that fell on me. And I realized like, whoa, I don't want to go a single day without acknowledging his presence. And I felt that come to light as we read Numbers 4. This is in Numbers 4, verse 4. God says, this is the work of the descendants of Kohath in the tent of meeting concerning the most holy things. And from there, we get a whole list of God describing how they are to take care of the holy objects, how they're supposed to cover them, and how they're supposed to take them as they go out. And at the end of that, God says, do this so that they won't die. Because as they encounter these holy things, there's like this real possibility that they they could die because they are not holy. And they're encountering that which is. And I just had to pause and thank Jesus for the grace that he poured out for the sacrifice that he made because now not only do we get to encounter the Holy Spirit which is the Holy of Holies literally God's Spirit but his Spirit lives in us now that is amazing as we just pause and reflect that is amazing we've gone from having direct instructions on how not to die when we encounter holy things but now to how to act since we have the Holy Spirit living in us. And so today, as you reflect on how kind God is to give instructions to the people of the Old Testament, as you reflect on that, as we read in these passages, I want you also to reflect on how good he is that he gives you instruction on how to go out today by his spirit that equips you with the power to evangelize, that equips you with the power to overcome temptation that equips you with the power to remain with him, to abide in him. So I want to encourage you, spend time today with the Lord and ask him to reveal, Lord, how am I not spending time with you? How am I not preparing as I go out? Because I want to encourage you, church family, God is preparing you and God wants to prepare you as you go out into the world, as he uh, enables you to do the things that he's set before you. He wants to prepare you in the personal time as you abide in him. So what would that look like? Would that look like waking up a little early and just sitting in his presence and allowing him to fill you with more of his spirit? Would that look like daily meditating on the truth that we get this wonderful miracle, this wonderful grace that we actually get to live in the spirit with his spirit in us? What would that look like today? Spend time asking him to reveal, Lord, how do you want to prepare me as you go out into the world? And then do what he says. Apply it. Spend time with him, abide in him, remain in him, and go out into the world and share the love of Christ and the power of the Spirit with those around you. So good talking about his word. I personally feel so encouraged that his spirit lives in us. It's a crazy miracle. I pray that we never forget how wonderful it really is.